U.S. Steel making a comeback after years of decline, and many in the industry credit the president's America for a strategy for that improvement. Mike Tobin went to Crawfordsville, Indiana, to find out what's going on out there. Mike, good morning to you. What are you hearing? Good, well, good morning, Bill. Businessmen in Asia are using the word protectionism, referring to President Trump's backing of the American steel industry. But people here at the steel plants believe they now have a business-friendly president who's got their backs. Business is booming in the steel industry. As soon as a business-friendly president was elected, companies like Nucor Steel saw the stock price jump, and the company is melting, rolling, and moving more steel out the door. I think the focus that this administration has put on manufacturing and an industry as important as steel in particular uh, creates some uh, bump for us also. This month, President Donald Trump sent the Commerce Secretary to investigate complaints that foreign competitors were dumping steel into the U.S. market and manipulating the price. He promised to prioritize American steel for federal projects and promised to develop a robust domestic steel industry that would not depend on foreign suppliers for national defense. Nucor has a pay incentive program that works all the way down to the production line. So actions at the White House that increase the purchasing of American steel have a direct impact on the lives of workers. The more we produce, the, the greater the bonus. Um, so it's, it's, man, it makes a huge deal to me. Now, the company U.S. Steel saw a big correction in price this week after posting an unexpected bad quarter. But Nucor here is what is considered a mini mill, and the mini mills have been showing healthy profits. They did see the stock price drop this week, but nothing like uh, bringing it down to the levels where it was before the election. The CEO of the company here says they spent a lot of energy investing in the company and investing in the staff when times were lean. I asked him, what do you do now that he's comfortable? He said make more steel. Oh. Bill? Go for it. Thanks. Mike Tobin in Indiana. Thank you, Mike.